Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Steps Cooking. Please click on the bell icon. You will get all the notification of my new videos and let's get started. Deep fried salmon. Sockeye salmon fish. This was frozen and this is very deliciously done. And I'm going to show you today how you can make it tasty, delicious salmon deep fried from frozen fish. And let's get started. These are the ingredients I'm going to use. This is a seasoned fish fry blending mix. This is store bought. And this is a frozen salmon I have. And this is wild Alaskan sockeye salmon. How to take the ice out, that I'm going to share with you. If you have a fresh salmon, that is the best. But if you don't, let's take a look how to take the ice out. Get a mixing bowl, and this is what we need to do. These are the wild salmon, and they are packaged in each individual bag. Place it inside a big bowl, just like this. Fill up with the water. Please make sure that you have a cold water. We don't have to do anything. And we're going to change the water after 15, 20 minutes. And then we're going to leave it another 15 minutes. So within one to two time, you change the water. And this moment, these are frozen. When you press it, they are hard like a rock. Then you can press it very easily when there is no ice. So as you see, all the water is drained. And now we're going to get the fish fry seasoning. We're going to use that. Fish fry mix has everything and it is clearly says, do not add salt and pepper. And again, salt and pepper is always to taste. If you want to add more, you always can add more salt and pepper. So now we're going to grab the salmon piece, place it inside, turn it. We're going to make sure that it's nicely coated on the front. So once it's nicely coated, place it in the plate. And I will continue doing the same thing. On the side, you can do it like this. Shake it the extra and place it in the plate. And keep continuing doing the same thing. Shake the extra and this is all done. Give it five minutes and then we're going to deep fry. Oil is heated up, so the fry is ready and uh, very important, when you place the pieces inside, be careful, don't burn yourself. In my case, I can lift up the basket, then I place the pieces and then I can put it inside. See like this, then I can place it inside. So as you see the big pieces, I'm just going to make sure that uh, bring this piece down, just like this. This is big pieces and the basket itself is small, so two pieces is perfect. So within three to four minutes, they will be deployed. Place another plate with a paper towel on it. Three minutes of deep point. Look at this. This is how it looks. So I just want to see. It's going to be nice and crunchy. I think uh, one more minute. So within four minutes, it will be all ready. So after three minutes, you've seen it. Now it's exactly four minutes. And if you start noticing that it start to flow, as soon as they start to cook really well, they are really crispy, you can hear the crunchiness. So within 4 minutes, the fish pieces are ready. 
So I'm going to take it out. So make sure that you take out, you leave it like this. It will drain out all the oil. And then we're going to take it out. And as I mentioned, place paper towel into the plate. So we'll soak up any extra. Look at this, so crispy. And now we're going to place the other pieces. So it's a good idea when you place it just like this. And look at this. These are two pieces and we're going to place it in. You really don't need to take it out. The only reason I took it out the first time, I just wanted to show it to you. So after three minutes, you can flip them over, whatever you want to do in one more minute. So within four minutes, it will be nicely done. And as for the temperature, I have a 375 degree Fahrenheit. So these are the pieces we pulled it out. And if we look, very nicely deep fried. So it's exactly two minutes. And I'll show it to you. This is how it looks. We don't need to do anything with these. Enough room inside the basket. And look at this, the skin. Another two minutes, all together four minutes. All the pieces are nicely done. So make sure that you drain out all the oil and take it out. It's a good idea. Let the temperature come back to 375 degrees. As soon as the light goes off, we're going to place the basket back into the oil. So after four minutes, it will be done. Then I'll share with you. And this is very deliciously done. Tasty, delicious salmon deep fried from frozen fish. So this is the last batch is also done. As you can see, if we can take it out and we can place it right here. This is all done. And if we look at the other pieces, very crunchy, crispy salmon. So you've seen it, it doesn't take that long. Even you have a frozen fish, you can deep fry them. If you found this video to be helpful, like always, like, share, and subscribe Easy Steps Cooking. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.